Coach, what did you like most about how you closed out the game tonight? Well, you know, I'm proud of the you know that last group. Um, just changed the overall disposition. You know, um, the ball pressure, a uh, little bit more aggression. I, th I thought we were uh, just played a little harder. You know, and obviously it's easy to get down and just you know we're not making shots and we couldn't throw one in the ocean from three. You're gonna have nights like that. Um, I think you know we got 41 threes up, which is a positive, but. Um, if they're not falling, we got to find something else, you know. So we want, to, of course, incentivize the quality threes, which I think the vast majority of them were. But when you're not making them, then play downhill, get to the paint. Um, so I thought we did a nice job mixing a little bit of that more in the in the fourth. But our um, defensive dif disposition, I think that's what uh, that that's where the difference was. Wes, kind of speaking of that, um, was there a, a common issue you saw, especially on the offensive, uh, giving up offensive rebounds? Yeah, we knew that was a strength of theirs, and, and we didn't negate that strength. I mean, um, it's not just on Gaff or you know the fives. That, that, that's an, a team that does that at an elite level. So um, it's got to just be a mindset that we're going to be out, you know, maybe outmatched size-wise some nights, but you know. Um, of just having the urgency and awareness to, you know, hunt and hit guys and uh, reading the flight of the ball, the, the little details, and, and not ball watch. Because if, if we get caught ball watching, then uh, that that would be the result. How do you address something like that after it's just the second game? It's the second preseason game, but that said, that's something that the team. I know it's not this group has mm -hmm. struggled with before, especially against Charlotte. How much do you kind of go at that after this game? Well, I mean, it's a it's a great lesson. You know, obviously. Uh, it's good to win the game, and you know, but um, we can learn a lot from that. And it's not going to be the only time we're going to be faced with this. Um, it's got to be a mindset shift that if we're going to, you know, be a solid defensive team, we have to close possessions. How do you assess Bilal's activity on both sides of the floor tonight? And only a I second. I thought he was really good. Game. Yeah, he was. He had some really good moments uh, defensively. Very active. He was, he was very disciplined as far as coverage, um, you know. S stepped up, made made some shots, which is which is good. Uh, so he's playing with more and more confidence each night. That's I think a pretty good indication of his development. What do you like about the overall uh, defensive performance, considering the percentage and you held them to and the turnovers you forced? I mean, they, numbers at times are deceiving. Um, you know, we didn't shoot the ball well either, so. Um, there, there were some good things, um, especially in that in that fourth. Uh, but they need to be better. And you know, I, like I said, it's a great, great way to close a game. You know, finish I think thirty-one to ten run in the last nine minutes. Um, we were able to kind of win a win ugly. You know, I know I've, I've used that term in the past, but that was a good example. You know, it was a small thing, but cut that deficit. You know, force a timeout. You know, that's a win for us. Then take the lead and win the game. So it's a positive, but th there's still a lot of defensive things that we can clean up. And what stood out about Mascala getting out there for the first time? Uh, Mike's looked good, you know, through camp. Um, and, you know, once again, he's a smart, high IQ player. He's physical. Um, obviously, he's a shooter, so he's going to stress the defense. And just that dynamic creates indecision. And we were able to use that to our advantage late in the game. Causes little coverage confusion. Um, Ryan was able to get downhill. Jared was able to get downhill. So it was a good balance. You know, Eugene's activity defensively. I thought Ryan on the ball, Jared on the ball, uh, Johnny. So it was, it, was, it was some really good things. Coach, um, you got down early, but clawed back. Uh, no one, the body language was still positive despite being down sometimes. What do you like about the team, maybe huddle or the camaraderie of the fight back and, and still to win? No, it's a, to, to that point, I thought uh, it was a good example of that. You know, it's it's kind of a double-edged sword. You win, you know, you're not making shots, and you're still, you know, getting beat by certain areas that we, you know, really harp on. And the fact that we can just continue to chip away at it. So, in general, I thought the group was great. You know, guys on the bench coaching each other up, being encouraging, um, and also demanding more. You know, so. That's uh, it, it's a good sign. And then Tyus with seven rebounds, you have a rebounded willing guard. What does that dynamic bring to this team? Uh, that's a huge. Uh, that's a huge plus. I mean, 
we've been talking about you know defensive uh, rebounding the last two games, and uh, for us to be good at it, it's it's got to be all five. It's got to be our smalls. You know, he had probably the best box that I've seen all year <laughs> from a smaller guy. Yeah. Just hey, let it hit the floor, hold him off, and go get it. And it seems like a you know funny thing, but that's it's got to be us. Appreciate you. Coach, you mentioned the 31-10 to 10 run there in the fourth quarter. It was visible that the team was really turning it up there late in the game. Mm-hmm. Was there something that was said during one of the timeouts or a player who spoke up to really get the guys going, or was it just all on the floor? Just to... I think it was a little, bit of, a little bit of both. I mean, we're going to coach them throughout. I think the guys rally around those young guys a little bit. And, you know, you get stop after stop. It kind of generates a little bit of momentum. Um, the ball goes through for you. You kind of make your own luck. It kind of has a snowball effect. We're able to kind of turn the tide of the game. And Eugene Omarui came in the fourth quarter, gave some really quality minutes. I know he had that one play where he stole it, pushed it up the floor for a layup when it was like a four-point game. Uh, how much confidence do you have in him now that you know two games are under his belt and he's given really solid minutes in both games? Yeah, um, I have a lot of confidence in him. You know, especially if he plays the way we know he can play and impact the game. You know, that's going to start with his defense. Um, he's going to keep coming. And he's going to keep fighting through possessions. He'll guard anyone on the floor. He'll give up his body. Um, you know, I thought that's that's his niche. You know, and you know he did it. You know, kind of late in the game. I thought Gaff, early in the game. You know, and he, things weren't going well. He felt like maybe coming up short on the offensive end, but he kept trying to make those plays. Great verticality. Took the charge. Blocked, blocked. I think three or four shots. That that type of mindset. You know, of we're just going to grind through possessions. Make things tough. Um, of course, those other areas, the transition piece, that, that was a crusher. Crushed us in the first and third quarter. Um, but when we made teams, you know, make, make them play us uh, in the half court, then we've got to finish possessions. But, you know, I thought we had some really good, you know, examples of what it should look like. Appreciate it. Yep. I was just going to ask about Eugene. How familiar were you with him before you guys signed him for the two way? Uh, a little bit, just, you know, watching him in Detroit. Um, I think a couple of years ago, but his energy, his activity, um, he plays with a level of physicality. That stands out the minute a guy like that walks onto the court. Is it, is it just because he has the kind of game path cap with that contract? Does it almost limit the impact he can have on the organization? Or how can he kind of make the most of the, the that, that's a That's a will problem. <laughs> well said. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, you, you love that, you know, his, uh, his disposition, his demeanor. Um, and he, he just cares about making winning plays, whatever that looks like. You know, if I got a guard one through five, if I got a rebound, um, he's going to do it. He had one moment where took a sh- shot to the face, next possession. You saw that, right? I swore he yeah. got hit, and it's for another day. Uh, he took the charge the next possession. Yeah. Both times, Coons and Cool are up. Yeah. You know, applauding. Just what does it say about them? They're trying to step in as leaders. And just they're still in the game. The yeah, they're still in the game. doesn't matter. Um, to their credit, you know, they're, they're, they're cheering for their guys and, and trying to push and encourage. And that's a great sign. You know, guys who they might be done for the night, but they're not disengaged. They're still in the game. They're still, um, you know, pulling for their guys. I think that's important. I'm sure you want to look at the film, but of the three-point shot attempts that you did get, did you like the look? Do you think that I would think was worth picking? without looking, you know, or without seeing it right now, I think the majority of them, yeah. I can live with, you know, I think Corey's got to be a volume guy, you know, and were all those great, it's, I'd, I'd be lying if I could tell you exactly right now, but I'll, I'll live with, I'll live, I'll live with those. Good. Thank you. Mike, what did you like about how the team closed the game out tonight on the defensive end in particular? Yeah, that's where we, uh, that's where it was won and obviously pretty rough shooting night. Um, for kind of both teams, but uh, I thought that Eugene and Jared and Ryan, um, amongst others, just uh, really guard the ball on the ball really well and um, just pressured them well, forced some turnovers, and we rebounded, um, you know, well there in the second half. And uh, yeah, that was the key. I was going to ask what was the change in the rebounding between the first and the second. Um, it's a good question. I think uh, we were better set on defense and not giving up so many transition um, looks because, you know, I think when 
um, you know, a team's pushing it in transition and they're kind of have us in rotations, then it becomes harder to box out and, and get the rebound. So I think that we just, um, you know, I think we also took care of the ball a bit better and didn't turn it over because obviously that can lead to, you know, the other team getting fast breaks the other way. So I think it was just a culmination of all those things. On a night where the threes aren't falling for you, Coach said he likes that you got high volume attempts up, but what does it say to the team when, when those shots aren't falling and, and how do you acclimate yourselves to do something different? Like yeah, that's a great question. And that's something that I look, look forward to watching the film on and just seeing what areas, you know, you know me included, if you, know, you want to be able to play in, inside out you know, and first get pressure on the rim because you know, the three is not obviously as dependable as that. So I thought Kuz did a great job setting the tone early offensively, getting to the rim. You know, he was aggressive again to the rim. Um, and, uh, you know, Jared there in the second half did it as well. So, um, no, I'm, yeah, I'm looking forward to watching the film and just seeing what ways in, in our set offense in the half court, you know, we can better attack the rim. Yeah. Hey, Mike. Hey. How hard is it to come into a game after having not played the previous preseason game and give solid minutes right from the jump when you get on the floor? Uh, I was a little anxious, just, you know, first first game here. Um, but it was a, I was – happy about it you know I um it's my 11th year in the NBA and I, you know I didn't even think I'd be in this position so I'm just grateful and um just you know still love the games I really like the guys on the team really good teammates so they make it fun just to go and compete and uh and I think Wes and the coaches just put us in a a really good spot I can feel it already just with our practice habits you know I feel like we feel confident out there you know on offense and defense in terms of what we want to do and you came into the game in the second half, obviously, and you and guys like Johnny and Eugene and Jared and Ryan really, really set the tone there at the end of the game, coming back from uh, from a deficit. Who are you gelling with the most, do you think, on the floor? Because it looked like that whole group that was out there was really, really cohesive. Yeah, I think um, I think it was just a collective defensive um, feeling out there I think that we just felt like uh, guys were in the nail spot well and in the fill positions you know just kind of there at that high post and and um, showing a good crowd against their drives and then you know I think throughout the game um, like guys were just uh, doing a good job too of having you know we had each other's backs you know if, if the big came up and was um, having to guard the ball more if it get into the rim like the guards were cracking down on the big man and boxing out like Tyus had a great box out in the first half so uh, when you feel that on defense and you feel like you know, your teammate has your back and you can go help to make a play, then that's just like, you know, it's contagious. So I think we just got to keep that up this season because, you know, we've seen early early on, like if, we, if we're connected on defense, we can win even if shots are dropping. Thank you. Yeah. First of all, Mike, how you doing? I'm good. How you doing? I'm doing excellent. Uh, now this is the second preseason game. You got down big, but guys, the body language still positive. What did you say about the team's mindset that you, you guys still finished and competed to the end? Um, yeah, just I think it's optimistic, positive. Um, I mean, guys just uh, – you can tell guys just love the game on the team. And so, um, you know, we are trying to put on a good show for the fans every night. And, uh, you know, we owe them that just to come out with energy and uh, that competitiveness. And I thought um, I thought guys really just embraced that, you know, um, tonight through the ups and downs.